Hey, I'm Antonia, this is Universally Me, and this is my second episode about the Universal Monsters. So first a refresher, the monsters are the Hunchback, the Phantom, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, the Invisible Man, the Wolf Man, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now the latest of these films, Creature, was made in 1954, so 60 years ago. And the Hunchback is more than 90 years old now, but all of these stories and all of these monsters are still so prevalent today. And that's what I'm going to talk about, how these films have impacted and permeated modern day film and society. First things first. What's most amazing to me is that Universal really created the look of the monsters that we know today. When you picture Dracula or Frankenstein, you're not picturing Bram Stoker's Dracula or Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. You're actually picturing Universal's depiction of them. In the book, Dracula was actually a lot more like Nosferatu. So he had this long white mustache, these pointy ears, sharp teeth, he was old, he was gross. But Universal went with the cape and the charm and the accent and all these things that we still associate him with today. So anytime that you dress up as Dracula, you're pretty much dressing up as Bela Lugosi. There are so many characters now that are pulled directly from this. Uh, Grandpa and the Munsters, Count Von Count on Sesame Street, Count Chocula, the serial mascot. These are all pulled from Universal's creation of Dracula. And the same thing with Frankenstein. In the book, Frankenstein looks like this, but Universal went with this. And that's what we still know today. When we picture werewolves or creepy sea creatures, more often than not, we're picturing some version of what Universal created. Universal also really set up the aesthetic for horror films that we know today. I mean, Dracula basically invented the genre, the fog, the howling wolves, the crumbling castles. That was all stuff that was brand new back then, but we still use a lot of them today. You can see it in major horror films all the way down to like Scooby-Doo. Or actually my new favorite, there is a shot in the new Maleficent trailer that I swear is a direct homage to Dracula. She's in the dark, there's a beam of light across her eyes. The first time I saw it, it blew my mind because it is so similar. And then also music too, or, or a lot of times silence, the way that we use sound to build suspense and to leave audiences squirming. When people first saw these films, they were said to be fainting in their seats. They had never seen anything done like this before, but we've essentially just been doing variations of it since. Lastly, Universal really popularized the sequel and pretty much invented the film franchise. Carl Lemley was all about publicity, merchandising, and money. He was an entrepreneur to the core and always looking for what the public wanted. When he saw how well the monster movies were doing, he really took advantage of that. He made Bride of Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, Dracula's Daughter, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, there's The Invisible Woman, The Invisible Man's Revenge, so many more. At the time, this was a relatively new concept, but now it's pretty much to be expected. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Antonia Carlotta. Please subscribe, please share, and thanks. Bye.